tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can turn this path, this curved path, into a load of squares or rectangles, depending obviously on the, the grid setting that I'm actually going to use. Now, what I need to do, I've just got this design, so I'm just going to first, what I want is edit and copy, because I want to store it away. I don't want to lose it completely. Next thing I want to do is go to object and path and split into grid. Now this is the case where like, say I want to, I could actually make it sort of thin lines. I'm just going to say you could go for 10 by uh, 20, say, so you can actually get sort of thin, thin lines there. You, I'm now I'm going to go for actually 20 by 20. So you can actually just see square grid there, basically square anyway, maybe more rectangle. So once you've actually done that, click OK. Well, next thing to do, I'm actually going to paste the other one back in again, but paste in place because I want it on top. So I'm just going to, yeah. You know, now you're obviously not going to have all can be complete squares because obviously there's some that are just going to be a very part of it. So I can select all of that and object, clipping mask, make. So I make that into that. But that's not the final bit. You need to actually go over here and say crop. So once you've actually done that, there you have it. You've actually got it. Now you could, of course, finish at that point. Don't have to continue. But you can actually, as long as you've got them all selected, you can go over to the live paint bucket. And then just, maybe I'm going to select a colour there. And obviously with that little arrow where that's pointed, I can click on there, click on there, and maybe change colours and obviously... What you can do then, of course, is just use the right and left arrow on your keyboard and go through the colours. You can just see as it just changes the colours there. And just go and click on that. So you can randomly go over this document, fill it with a different colours in different places, maybe make a sort of stained glass effect. And you can run through the whole lot, obviously even gradients. And obviously with, with about 20 by 20, it's a potentially a... See a now I did actually have a, a few years back on my site a random colour plugin. And maybe there's also you could maybe do uh, scripts or something maybe to do a similar effect. So if you actually want to, or maybe a, a script to run through and shift all the, the various paths different directions might be another option. But like I say again, you can do a variety of different things with this. And like I say, you can just go over here. I can expand that at that point, and now I can just actually select. Like say the and group it first actually ungroup and then go and select the individual parts obviously going to take more than one ungrouping ah, it's finally ungrouped and you can select that select that and take chunks out as well so if you want to create a very abstract maybe shape as well it's basically still the same shape but with just chunks out as well fragmented design and of course you can go by 20 by 20 30 by 30 or 50 by 50 50 by 30 whole range of different options for creating different grid designs anyway hope you found this of interest thank you much